So I thought I was done making videos for the rest of the day, but I had to come down here and instantly record a video when I just saw that Jim Harbaugh has officially signed with the LA Chargers. We talked about this, how it was uh, rumored to happen for you know about a week or two now, but now we get the official announcement. And with this with this organization, you just never know. So I was kind of at like, a, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, standpoint, but the fact that they've actually pulled the trigger on this hire, I think is an incredible move. You know, one of the things, one of the common trends on this channel that we talked about for the past two years now, ever since I started this channel, one of the main things that I talked about on this channel was always Brandon Staley and how bad, how stupid he was. So I feel like a part of me, like I'm not a Chargers fan, but I've talked a lot about the Chargers specifically on this channel just because of Staley. So part of me kind of feels connected to this in a, in a stupid way. But uh, to see this happen is awesome. Uh, and specifically for Justin Herbert, because I, I genuinely feel like the Chargers have done him a disservice for years now, just going cheap, pinching pennies on these uh, unproven guys at the head coach position. You know, when you look at a football team, the, the most important person on the in the entire organization is your quarterback. The second most important guy is your head coach. And more times than not, if you have one of those guys, but you don't have one of the other, it's not going to work out. You need both those guys both those positions to be filled by elite guys to have a successful team. And the Chargers, ever since they've had Justin Herbert, they've had the quarterback set in stone. He's been incredible ever since he walked into the NFL. But they just haven't had that coach. They haven't had the stability of a real NFL mind. Anthony Lynn was just incompetent. Brandon Staley was just a complete moron who should have never been a head coach. Um, bringing in this legit mind in Jim Harbaugh. And like for a while... I didn't like Jim Harbaugh, and I could never really put out a reason why. I think maybe because it's a Steelers fan, maybe like subconsciously my brain is wired to just hear the name Harbaugh and be disgusted. But I came to a realization the last couple of days, like, why do you not like Jim Harbaugh? I could never really give a solidified reason because you just look at the guy's track record. Everywhere the guy goes, he wins. You know, he went to San Diego State, won there. Stanford was a dumpster fire. He goes there, cleans up the program. Um, obviously went to the 49ers, very quickly became a contending team, went to a Super Bowl, took Colin Kaepernick to a Super Bowl. And Michigan completely turned that program around. I know it took a while, but in the past like two, three years now, Michigan has owned Ohio State. And obviously getting the natty this year. Like he just has a proven track record of – Basically, anywhere he goes instantly is going to be a good team and is going to be in the mix to compete for a championship. Going to this team that last year we talked about this nonstop. I guess not last year, this year, because you know this season isn't technically over. A thing we talked a lot about this Chargers team and why I bashed Brandon Staley so much is because they have the roster to compete with some of these elite teams. They have the talent, especially at key positions. Going to this year, I consider Justin Herbert a top five quarterback. I don't know if he still, if he would still rank there because this year was disappointing. But you have that guy who is capable of being a top five quarterback. You have the pass rushers on this team. You have elite secondary players like a Derwin James Jr. and Asante Samuel. I like a lot. You have the skill position players at receiver, running back. Like every major position. The, the box was checked. So I was like, even if you're like just an okay head coach, you should just be able to figure it out. And that's why I was so hard on Brandon Staley on this channel is because when you have that much talent, when you have that quarterback, I'm not giving you a pass. You don't get an excuse to fail. Bringing in Jim Harbaugh just kind of, it's a breath of fresh air, especially for you Chargers fans. Like, they have done Justin Herbert nothing but a disservice ever since he's walked in the league, giving him however many different coordinators and head coaches throughout his, his short career, going out there and getting him one of the best football minds in the country, I think is a game changer. And it, when you specifically look at the division, there's two other head coaches in the division that are regarded as really great off um, football minds. Andy Reid and Sean Payton. If you want to compete with those guys, I have my issues with both of them, especially Sean Payton I think is extremely overrated. But they, they those two guys obviously have a long track record of sustained success as well. You want to compete with those guys, especially with Reid having Mahomes, you need to go get out there and get a guy 
on that level. And I think especially after winning a natty, Jim Harbaugh is on that level. And I think if he wins a Super Bowl, he could definitely cement his legacy as one of the best football minds ever. Um, just for how he's able to turn programs around so quickly. Um, so I think this is such a, a breath of fresh air. I'm glad to see Harbaugh back in the NFL because as long as I've been watching the NFL, Jim Harbaugh wasn't in the NFL. My first year watching the NFL was 2015 or 2016, something like that. And Harbaugh was clearly already out of the league. So I'm excited to see him in the NFL now. And I just think this is a great move for the Chargers because historically they don't pay for coaches. So great step in the right direction. I definitely think the Chargers, I'm not going to say they're going to win their division, of course, because when I picked them to do that um, last season, um, I was dead wrong because the Chiefs won the division, then won the Super Bowl. So I'm never going to pick against the Chiefs again until I see it. But this, this move is massive. So let me know all your thoughts on this. If you made it this far, appreciate it. Please like and subscribe.